congratulations on making it to level two. Let's jump into 2F. So this is all about ratio relationships, but the beginning of this is going to be a little bit of a review of 1A learning about ratio. So let's kind of just put all that together and revisit that take it to the next level. Let's do it. So John sells 15 caramel bars, nine crunch bars, and 20 night nut bars for the fundraiser. For each situation, name the type of ratio being used. So we've got write a ratio of crunch bars to nut bars in three ways. So remember, since crunch bars comes first, that's the number we have to have come first, which would be nine, because I'm looking up here, nine, nine crunch bars, um, to nut bars, which would be 20 nut bars. So the, the three different ways um, would be a colon, a fraction, or the word two. You can put those in any order you'd like. You just need to make sure you have all of them, and all of them should have the nine coming first because crunch bars came first, and 20 should come second because nut bars was second. Okay. By the way, if you want to pause the video and try the rest of these on your own, you're more than welcome to, except for uh, part C, which is the new part. But if you want to just do them together, that's fine too. So moving forward, which type of ratio is this? Well, it's two different types of bars, so that's going to be a part to part. Okay, by the way, if you want to do P to P, that's fine, and P and W for part versus whole, that's fine. Okay, so then we have write a ratio for caramel bars to all of the bars sold. So for caramel bars, that's 15. And notice we only have one blank here, so we don't need to write all three ways unless it specifically says, so you get to pick this time. But anyways, we got caramel bars is 15, and it wants all the bars sold, so we need to add up all the bars. Okay, so I'm going to add the 15 and the 20 together first because that's just a little bit easier math. So that's going to be 35 plus 9 more. So even though we're comparing to the karma bars, we still have to include them in the total. We can't exclude them. So we're adding all three numbers together and that would be 44. If you need to do that off to the side, that's perfectly fine. But caramel bars is 15 compared to all the bars sold, which is 44, so 15 to 44. Okay, again, you can use any of these ways that you prefer. What type of ratio is this? Well, the part would be the caramel bars, and since it's all bars sold, it would be the whole, so part to whole. Okay, so all that is reviewed. This is the new part. So we are going to write a ratio relationship. So we want to know what is the ratio relationship for the nut bars to caramel bars. So we're explaining with words. Now, this is just a fancy way of saying something we already know, okay? So I'm going to tell you the kind of, mm, I don't know, fill in the blank almost kind of way to do this. So when we do this, we are always going to say for every, and then talk about the first part. So in this case, nut bars, and then we'll say there are, or there is, um, and then talk about the second part. So here's what I mean. Nut bars, there are 20 of those versus caramel bars, there are 15. So we're going to say for every 20 nut bars, there are 15 caramel bars. That is all you're saying with a ratio relationship. That's what it means. So for example, if I doubled it, that means I would have now 40 nut bars and 30 caramel bars, but that again is still saying for every 20, there's going to be 15 caramel bars, right? So there's not going to be as many caramel bars as nut bars because we always have more of them or more of those. So that's all it means. You're going to have for every, and then talk about the first part, there are, talk about the second part, and it just goes in order just like our ratios have been, okay? That's really it. That's all that means. Let's try one more example. Now, if you want to try this one on your own by pausing the video and then checking with me, you can, but otherwise I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. So it says, students were asked about their favorite color. The responses to the survey are listed on the table below. Answer the following questions about the survey. So here's our students' uh, favorite color survey. We've got yellow, red, blue, green, pink, four, five, six, one, four. I know that kind of looks like a seven. It's a one, just so you're aware. Um, so we have ratio. Choose one way to write it. So we don't write all three we just need one and then we want to write the ratio of students who chose pink to total number of students surveyed okay so pink if we look on our chart would be four so four should come first and then total number of students surveyed we need to add up all of our numbers you can do that in however way you like you know if you want to group them in groups of ten it doesn't really matter but we've got four plus five is nine plus six is fifteen plus one is sixteen plus four is 20. Now, if you want to write total and then 20 under here, you can. That's completely up to you. But anywho, we are doing pink, which was four, to total, which is 20. So we want four to 20. Write it in the colon, fraction, the word two, whatever you prefer. And the type of ratio, this would be a part to whole, because part was the uh, students chose pink. 20 was the total, okay? So now they want us to write the ratio relationships. Remember, that was the for every, there are, or there is that we were using last time for the students who chose blue to students who chose green. So we're gonna say for every, and then they said for students who choose blue, so there were six. So for every six students that chose blue, 
there are, or possibly is, because it says students who chose green is one. So we're going to say, for every six students who chose blue, there is one student who chose green. Okay. You want to say there is because there was only one this time versus multiple would be there are. Okay, but we're following that same formula for every there are or for every there is. Okay, that's it. That's all you need for this video, okay? So you have a scavenger hunt to find ratios around our room that you need to go try. There's a couple that you need to look at, read the directions carefully, and then at the very end, you need to pick one of those to write a ratio relationship for, and then get a teacher signature. Good luck, have fun, enjoy finding those ratios around our classroom.